Did I not just make 12 fences? Fence gates, I mean. I haven't had that many fucking beers. Oh my god. Well, I, it'll be funny re re watching this. Okay, I need uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I need 10 fences. And then I need uh, two, four, six, eight, ten gates. Oh, shit, I didn't make it. Uh, I don't know. Was... Okay, I need one more gate. Oh, God. One more. Fucking hell. Alright, so we should be fucking cool now. So I just gotta put dirt up. Alright, dirt up. Alright, uh, uh, shit, get back on the show, damn it. All, all, right. all that was the conservative administration rolling downhill. Okay, the PC but that doesn't shit affect your everyday life. You know what I mean? They're not telling you what kind of toilets to use, what kind of light bulbs to put. If you say something on the air that gets you fired now, it's guaranteed going to be a liberal. Oh, that yeah, fucking absolutely. Very true, but if you slip and say fuck, liberals are much more likely to overlook it and go, well, it was a fleeting That's expletive. true, but, but, but in this day, you're probably go not going to get in as big a trouble as you would have years ago you by probably saying fuck. I don't know. I, I find yeah. them both to be repulsive with that. And I was always yeah, the same yeah. way, fuck the liberal. But then when after Janet Jackson, that was not a fucking... But I think was... it's a lot more... Look, if, if you say uh, the, the seven dirty words on the radio, uh, yeah, you'll get some arch sure. conservative saying, well, the children could hear that and you get mm -hmm. in trouble. But that at least is a black and white thing. You say it right. or you don't say it. Here's a list. Don't say this. This vague, obscure, yeah. ideological Ooh. bullshit that they could pull out of their ass and all of a sudden you're a racist, a homophobe, a fucking misogynistic. That shit can ruin your life. That fucks you, That yes. can ruin your life. Right. It has. Religi you say, many you say fuck lives. on the air and get fired, you could get another job at a radio station. And CBS could find what, Jimmy? What, what, what was it? It was like... A, Five million dollars for a yeah. network that brings in a billion a week. No, I, I, you know I mean, I'm, I'm saying also like you know they, they want to dictate who can get married. Like they, they both have their fucking where they want it. They, everyone wants freedom, yeah, yeah. but everyone is comfortable removing other freedoms that they don't like. It's just, yes. it's an irritating American thing that well, we do. We all do it. We're but in a the position. right, I just don't see it as as pervasive on the right. They used to have that juice, but the religion. I think I it's mean, an annoying, it's, but it, as far as being per roof. pervasive, as pervasive as the liberal, the roof. Uh, yeah. Roof yeah. what is. you can say in speech codes on campuses and all that. Yeah. That's all. That's all a liberal thing. Is the fucking language and the PC, yes. and you're a, you're a phobe or, or an. Ist. I think it's a lot more dangerous on that side. Um, the thing I don't like about the religious right is the fact that you know I, I think stem cells ought to be fucking harvested from live children at this <laughs> point. But I could give a fuck. They're, they're fighting stem cells. They you're also fight. Uh, <laughs> you're right. Opie, they also I, fight uh, again. Gay marriage is a big thing. Stone. It's a big part yeah, of the yeah. population and the fights. Yeah, but they have gay. They, I mean, the, the Catholic Church is talking about having gay priests and stuff. It's not like they're not <laughs> yeah, bending. Yeah. And they're, they're not, not trying. And they're not supposed to bend. Right. You know, right. A religion is an institute. It's not supposed to change with the times. Right. It's about I, to be I don't agree. I'm not even religious. Just, you know, I love how I'm always labeled a conservative. I don't fucking been to church in seventh grade. Right. You know? I don't give a shit about that stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know, they are bending with the times. They're considering having women priests. And, and, they have you know. to. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's like, they're yeah. not supposed to. Yeah, a few billion in lawsuits will do that to you. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Good point, Jimmy. You know what? Fucking lawyers trump Christ. <laughs> wow. I Great just, point. Uh, <laughs> it's a good name for a band. It's just annoying. And it seems like in this day and age, in this country, uh, and I think a lot of people are under this misconception, although the misconception is kind of turning into reality, 
we are it's like we're given our rights it's like the the government is allowing us to have our rights and that isn't it no, uh, these are rights that are like god given as inalienable. just as inalienable rights that you're supposed to have for just being you are you exist here are your rights and these people are supposed to protect them yeah not protect those rights you what now you walk around and you're walking on eggshells all the time because it's like uh oh they, they could take that away oh boy they're, they're curtailing this right they're not supposed to ever be able to do that but but it's become such commonplace that dummies that aren't educated as to what the Constitution is actually believe they jump on that the, the rights they were given to you by, by the, the government, government yeah. to regulate as they please. Right. So there's never an argument because they're stupid. That's right. And, and it is an inalienable right, which was eventually granted to everybody. You're right. Why eventually. You? Yeah, this Times is a good change. We got a good call uh, coming in from, I'll go unfortunately, <laughs> old tall hat Budinsky. <laughs> Not even him. The brunch. <laughs> They're Dan, the ones voting in Obama. Uh, Christ. Dan Fucking North white suburban housewives. <laughs> he wants in badly on this one. Go ahead, Dan. Hi, Dan. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Dan, the man. Oh, Dan, thanks for the call. Go ahead, Dan. Okay, uh, I want to start off by saying, Anthony, I really uh, I agree with, like, 95% of your rant, and I really do appreciate you fighting the good fight for us. I want to say, though, I think what the other caller was trying is, well, not so much because he says he has a small business, but when you're really struggling, and you see how much these dip has take. Like it really is it's Disappointing to the, to the fact where you can't. I, I Are you calling from a prison day room? We can't. But I know that you're echoing, right. and I understand that point. But what do you think? I was I was born into the Getty family. I fucking worked half of my life. I worked as a, at a real job where I carried Estelle heavy Getty? things. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't know the photog the photography yeah. image. Yeah, that's, that, that's the first one. I can remember. This. I should have said Rockefeller. Yeah, I know. What an obscure. What do you think? I'm a I'm a Yes. <laughs> Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're too conservative. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're, I, I worked for a living. I understand we what it was like to struggle. Most of our, we were poor for most of our lives. I looked at, like Nick said, I looked at people that were well off and successful, yeah. and I didn't look you at them like, inspired. that motherfucker, oh, fuck him. I, I used to go out on, uh, I, I was working, I would go out on my mom and Sal's boat and see these giant fucking boats at Watch Hill and be like, I want to fill them up and send them back. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good start. And, uh... But but I never looked and said, oh, that scumbag, that fucking guy with his money, why did he buy a boat so big? He could have... You know, it was something to aspire to. But I don't understand what these guys are listening to, because, of course, you're ranting uh, a lot about it. But then we you know, go to the phones, and, and we get so many people that are from the middle class that are going through the same, same shit. shit. But it really hurts their lifestyle. And this Obama why, why don't you thing, hear that class, part of it, Dan? The middle class is paying for the subsidized health care. Right. So it's being taken out of their pocket. If you're a, a middle class guy and you uh, you Buck. don't have a, a, a kids, oh, you, you, you're not going to have a pregnant wife, all of those premiums that you pay for that goes to subsidize uh, low income people that that will get pregnant, uh, have kids, need the uh, orthodontia, whatever. So it's taking from uh, the middle class who's already uh, struggling. That's, right. Joe wants. Why don't they see that? Joe, Joe's on the same, um, the, the, on the same point. We well, you know Joe. Where it's tough to understand uh, where you're coming from. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, well, guys. Um, basically, what I was going to say is people are angry against you for the wrong reason. I don't think they understand the nature of how he pays his taxes. So he gets, I assume, without prying that you guys get a check every two weeks or a direct deposit or whatever for a large amount of money because your employees at a company. Oh. However, and therefore oh. 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 Yeah. I don't get that though. I'm just using this to get the exposure like my oh. aunt would say. Money doesn't matter to us to the point I don't even know how much I make and where uh, it goes. I don't know. I just ask for cash. <laughs> right. I, I no just idea. say pay me in cash under the table. <laughs> exactly. We. I haven't seen a pay stub in years. I don't know. Years. It goes to the accountant. Oh God. Offshore we're hiding all sorts uh, of money all over the place. I'm going to be that guy that just is like, what? I have nothing left? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like the stone account in Switzerland. Brick wood, <laughs> or roof, roof, roof. But, okay, we get money. Right. Yeah. So Do we get paid right. weekly? I really don't it's know. It's bi-weekly. Is every it? two weeks, yeah. Oh. Every two weeks. All right, we get paid every two weeks. By curious right. weekly. Okay. Yeah. However, well, curious. So it's a however, hint. there are plenty of, there are plenty of guys that are directed, usually, huh. who own a company... 
and decide what their actual salary is like, yep. taxable at 40 or 50 percent. Right. So that's, say, like 250 grand a year. However, they have stock options with all kinds of other shit, with, and which is where they make their millions that they can put in overseas accounts. They get taxed at a much lower tax rate because it's uh, mm-hmm. income tax, something like that. This so accountant talk where, is great, but... Oh, did, you blast, did he blast one? No, he th- my chair made a streak. Oh. So the point is, that's where the anger should be, ha- should be put. Because guys like me, who make all cash income and only 50 grand a year, still get taxed at 40 or 50%. But I can't take advantage of tax loopholes because I don't have that fucking shit. I can't, I can't afford to have those types of investments. And it's just the nature so why of blame the guy, you know? The, why blame I'm the guy that's him. taking advantage of all the loopholes that he's, are available? He's not blaming you, Anthony. Oh. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not him. Guy, I, I'm blaming the guy. I'm not blaming the guy. I'm blaming the system. And when a guy gets to that man. point where he can take over, I, trust me, I don't have that mentality. The system, man! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> don't worry about it. I understand your point, sir. Thank you. So, you're, you're a yeah. saint. All right. No, I, do. I, I get what he's we, saying. We got a major problem here. Uh-oh. Yeah. What happened? Uh, what happened? John in Indiana. Nick DePaul's going to be at Caroline's this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Why yeah. is that a problem? Is there somebody John, else booked? John, oh, no. go, John go ahead. Hello. What's up? Shame on Opie, Opie, Anthony, and Jimmy for being successful. Yeah. Shame on you guys. Why? So you guys did, because you guys did the right thing. And shame on you, and, and it's retarded for these guys that attack you. What about the faggot thing? Yeah, what happened to that? Oh, uh, that's all, that's made up, just get on <laughs> At least he's honest. <laughs> Why, what had he said? <laughs> he really doesn't like us using that word. Shame on Opie and Anthony for being successful. But I never shame got, on, I never got into on. radio to be rich, oh, by the way. It just happened. No, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Wasn't Opie, gonna. I know that. You know, I'm a fellow Long Islander. I'm not going to say from where. You're not even from Indiana? <laughs> the con. <laughs> I think it's Man, got line about everything. Is yes. your name at least John? We got Anthony Fugazi on line two. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want me to tell you where? You're the, from the conch? He's got a summer home in Shirley. Oh, no, even worse. <laughs> uh, Wine Dench? I don't know, Copeg. Copeg. That's a, one of those weird towns on Long that? Island. Copeg, Long Island. I don't know much about Copeg. Is that a name Named of after a the clam? Copeg Indians. Yeah. 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 Everywhere on Long Island. It's Another like group the hop out. Indian. Oh, boy. Mm. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I saw a Native American yeah, standing on the median strip guys, the other day crying. They were looking at a rest stop <laughs> named after their grandfather. <laughs> Shitting <laughs> eagle. Yes. He was at a rest stop. His name was Drillum Holum. <laughs> what, what, John, if that's uh, your real know. name? Sorry. 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 Go ahead, Kevin. Sorry. Oh, Peg. Go ahead, Bill. Mm-hmm. My real name? Yeah. Go ahead, Pete. Uh, now. Doesn't matter. Doesn't now. Matter. Jesus, it's like Liberace. No, that's, now. That's, that's, now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, John. But I think we're also fighting yeah, for. I, 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 I truly believe we're fighting for the middle class a little bit on this radio show. So I like By the time they ponied up, <laughs> like they cruising on the backs of this country for so years. So what are good. the parameters Molly of the Kagan. middle class? What, what, uh, what do nothing. The def- expect everything for free. What is like financially? No, yeah, financially. What are the parameters? I think it absolutely depends on where you live. If somebody living in Manhattan oh, as opposed to living Tulsa. in Idaho or something like yeah. that, yeah, it's going to be a, a big difference no, no, in no, where you are as far as middle class goes. That's why when they throw this whole. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. If you make that, yeah. You're, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, like making when you live in Manhattan. It's like making eleven five. Exactly. I make that at Caroline's. Oh, wow, Jimmy, you do. You're a little fucking businessman. I'm fucking shit anyway. And I make that at Car- I say I want all the drinks. <laughs> you gotta like understand that we, that parts different parts. We of could try to explain that to people. They don't get it because we're, we're across the country. Two hundred fifty thousand a year in Manhattan is you're. It's literally like half. You're. It's like making a. You're on the poor yeah. side. You're not owning. You're not no, owning you're renting. That's why I just bought a you're house. Not renting. In, I bought a house in Peekskill. Yeah. See? Nice. I think they said the average apartment now is uh, around nine hundred thousand dollars for one. Yeah, but that's like uh, one you get room. like four hundred square feet. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. One room. The only good thing about paying a shitload of money f- where you live is no matter where I go in this country, no matter what I'm trying to buy, a hotel room I'm trying to get, I go, I get- wow, that's cheap. 
Yes. It doesn't matter where what? you go. Uh, hotels are amazing in other parts of the it's, country. Because we're used to paying $500 I, a night in Manhattan. I, I go to uh, you know Rochester a few times a year. And, and going to the Quick best ready. restaurants what? and stuff. Quick leave. I think but, they fucked up. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I go to the best restaurants up there with Brother Wee's and stuff. And when these bills come, I'm like, this is... This, this, what are, are they are they paying for half of yeah, this? Yeah, what is this? Do they like you that much? It's like, no, man, that's all it is. It's well, uh, working in Buffalo, I was looking in the, in the uh, <laughs> classifieds that... You know, houses. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, right. It's fucking, I mean, it's like seven, 17 tops. bedrooms, <laughs> in, indoor, outdoor pool, right. late staff, right. 18.5. Yeah. 18 well, that's because the outdoor pool, you have two weeks a year in Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. an above ground indoor pool. <laughs> 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 Oh, what white trash. That'd be great. Yeah. An above ground <laughs> indoor pool. What a nice dome, oh, dome over shit. it. A little deck around it. It's nice. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> hate above ground pools. Oh, uh, yeah, not a big fan of the above no, ground pools. bees pool. always nest under the ridges. You don't like it? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so you know what? what? I never thought about that, but that's a good point. They yeah. do. You're they're, trying to come They don't make them with ridges anymore. No, huh? You they're want very a burger? dangerous with ridges. You grab the edge. Can I get a burger? And you wrap your hand around it or a wasp nest. You feel something. What's this papery feeling? Uh, yeah. Jesus. Biting into my, my the fingers. Forty things objecting <laughs> repeatedly <laughs> to my knuckles. <laughs> Mm. Is it a colon? <laughs> <laughs> you want more of these calls? There's a lot of them. Today. Oh, they're compelling. Uh, you know what? It's just Fuck terrific. them. These guys are fantastic when they call in with their. Uh, let's go to Tyler. Political ideology. DR. Tyler. Hey man, what's up? Welcome aboard, up, Tyler. Tyler. Thanks for the contribution. <laughs> Long time listener, man. I Okay, well, hmm. I like it. I think I made it a little, one, two, three, well, six horses can go in here. And you know what I can do is, is like, like I've always done, is make this area out in here. I, I need to get rid of this fucking... Let's stop this fucking water. What what do I have on me? Uh, well, I'll just put dirt. There. Hello. Hello. And uh, what I may do is this will be there, and we could put a like a horse area out in here, fence it off where they could roam. I don't know why I make these fucking stables because I usually just let them roam. But yeah, okay. I don't know. I, don't know. I like it. Uh Okay. We've done well. We've made a bridge to where we can get horses and we made a horse barn and I think we'll cut her off there oh, oh uh, the reason I'm cutting off there because I've got a delicious steak to grill a very expensive steak um, and I'm kind of really wanting to uh, Chew into some medium rare beef. All right, later. <laughs>